For this screening card, I want to paint a snowbird. For someone has been supporting me since the day one of my artist learning community on Patreon. The paper I'm using is Stratmore watercolor paper, 140 pound. Now I'm going to put this mask on, so I just focus on the composition. I'm going to use this number four round brush. Do a little compositions. Just use uh, maybe just this light brown color. Where I'm going to put the bird. I'm going to leave enough background. And I want to see there's a snow on the bottom over here. And maybe the bird, the head of the bird, a little bit off the center, right over here, like this. And the legs can come up all the way down here. Uh, I got a mark over here. Just, I'm going to use my one inch flat brush. So what's the background look like? I'm going to make it a gray color. I already have some gray color over here. I may need it a little, little bit yellow. So I'm going to put a little yellow over here. I can mix those color together. That become the color that I want. Okay. Now let's put it on. Now I already defined this the area for the snow and also the edge of the snow make it a little bit uneven. Also over here I want this a little bit softer. Good. Now I'm going to use my round brush. Let's take a look. I'm going to start from the head. You can actually paint the red into uh, the dark color if you want, because it just the dark color is darker than um, than the red color. Now I'm going to add a little bit blue colors. This the winter blue, a little blue colors, and get a little bit more red, making sure the color thick enough. So now. I'm gonna paint it in this side, make it a little bit darker. Like that. Intentionally not looking at the detail that much. So let's keep focusing on the bigger connection. Now I'm come back here, use my one inch flat brush and create a texture that I want. Like that. So. to the dark area and paint it into the eye. And I'm gonna mix the pleasant blue with the red color. Now I'm gonna start painting into the dark area. Think about how much color do you need. If you have too much color in the brush, but the area that you're gonna paint is not gonna be that much. Uh, in that case, you're gonna have trouble you're going to feel it kind of like a, my why my brush is not listening to me okay now i'm going to start over here good look before you paint now i'm going to come in toward the eye I'm going to paint it around the eye over here. I'm going to keep the the white line uh, on touch. Like this. It's good. The inside of the eye has a little bit more brown color first. So I'm going to come back to the eye later. So 
keep going with this dark color. Okay, so that's good. And I need to find a brush to make that um, make that soft hair to show. So I'm gonna use this very tiny, tiny brush. I never use a brush so small. And let's see, I'm gonna take the color, but I don't wanna color that much into the brush. Just a little bit, okay, keep the brush, not too much color, so let's see. Look before you paint. That's good. I'm gonna do a, a couple more. Like that. That's good. So good suggestions. Now I'm gonna use this brush Give a little red color on the top over here too. I'm just gonna take the red color. Okay. I'm gonna have a couple lines a little bit longer. Good. And a little bit on the edge. Now I'm going to fill it in. that's right around uh, the highlight. Put the mask back on to take a look at what do I need to change before I going on to the last step. I'm gonna clean up this area too. That's good. I'm happy with the the feeling of the vignette edge for the painting. Now what I'm going to do now as the last step, I'm going to use my tool brush. Make sure your whole painting is already dry. So now I'm going to use my tool brush. The tool brush is very clean. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna lift up some area that is too much white. And also some area on the board that I don't want it that much. Inside the eye, I wanna have a little bit clear. The wing is supposed to be in front of the tail. So I'm gonna give some suggestions here. Like that. I use the brush, just 
painted some pick a dot. Now I'm going to put the mask back on to see how it looks like. I'm going to drop in dust on the body of the book. Now I think the painting's finished.